Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jeanne coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about my empty perfumes, all of the perfumes that I have gone through in 2022. So if you guys are interested in seeing what perfumes I've gone through and if I will repurchase them again, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop, and leave me your scent of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again, my name is Jeanne. Welcome, and if you are returning, thank you so so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly truly appreciate you guys' support. So, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi. Now, let's hop into today's video. So, I have four full bottles and one 10 ml travel spray, and I really really wanted to talk to you guys about these scents that I've gone through because it's really rare that I go through a fragrance and if I do go through a scent that means I really really enjoyed it so spoiler alert I really enjoyed these fragrances so I'm gonna start off with a classic one of the fragrances that you know a lot of people talk about either you love her or you hate her and this fragrance to me is just very very beautiful very timeless very classic but in a more modern way and this is Alien Eau de Parfum the original from Mugler this is the 30 ml bottle so this is a smaller bottle but I use the crap out of this I think there's like a little drop left in here but it's pretty much empty it's even dusty I really put off making this video for a while so all of these fragrances are pretty dusty so don't judge me but this fragrance is a nice warm resinous ambery fragrance it has a lot of jasmine in there it also has a cashmere note so it has this nice woodiness that I really really enjoy it's a very very nice fragrance overall and I think either you love this fragrance or you hate it because of how strong that jasmine note is sometimes it can throw people off but for me personally I love the jasmine that is in this scent I am gonna repurchase this fragrance I have not yet but I will I haven't really missed it lately because it's been very hot here but I know once it starts to cool down I'm gonna really crave this fragrance I love it this fragrance is very simple it has some jasmine sambac it also has some amber and this has cashmerian so nothing too crazy going on but overall this fragrance is beautiful the formulation back in the day used to be a lot stronger than it is now but this is a very nice fragrance still it projects very nicely and it wears very well so I think if you're into sexier scents, you might enjoy this fragrance. I say try it out if you have not already. And if you have tried out Alien, what are your thoughts? Would you have gone through a bottle or not? Because I would really like to know. So this is Alien from the House of Mugler. Now this next fragrance is one that I could not stop talking about over the last year because I was truly, truly in love with this fragrance and I really need another bottle. I haven't bought a backup bottle yet and I don't know why. I'm probably going to go out and buy one this weekend. But this fragrance is absolutely beautiful. This is a pretty girl scent to me this is also one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection and this is Lancome Idole the original Eau de Parfum this fragrance you guys oh my god I miss this so much ah I have to go out and buy a bottle and I wanted to try out some of the flankers as well so I have something very special coming up for you guys in regards to comparing the flankers to the original pillars so stay tuned for that and subscribe down below if you have not already but this fragrance you guys is so beautiful this is your sweet fruity rosy fragrance it has this freshness to it it also has this kind of aquatic vibe which I really enjoy this fragrance is so sexy to me this is such a bright and happy fragrance but she holds her own with her muskiness I just love it so so much if you enjoy those bright fresh happy scents that leave an impact that has a nice sillage that's what this fragrance is right here I know some people call this fragrance boring and stuff like that but to me personally this is a compliment getter this is one that if you spray it on I guarantee you you're gonna get complimented on because wow this fragrance is just amazing it's so pretty especially for these hotter days and even the nighttime I think this will be very nice for a date night scent it's just very nice you guys so this fragrance opens up with some juicy pear and some bergamot so you get that freshness from the bergamot but you also get that juicy sweet fruitiness from the pear and then in the mid you get some rose and some jasmine and to me that's a beautiful feminine combination rose and jasmine with some citrusy notes or some fruity notes it's just a very nice combination it keeps the scent very feminine and sexy but not going too deep and then in the base you get some white musk which is extremely fresh and you also get some vanilla some 
cedarwood and some patchouli but to me personally even though i am a patchouli lover i don't think there's too much patchouli in this fragrance at all i really don't detect it at all i do get a lot of the musk i do get some sweetness from the vanilla and a little bit of woodiness from the cedar wood but it's nothing too crazy it's not overwhelming i really think that if you enjoy smelling feminine and sweet but not too sweet but you like to have that freshness as well you will really enjoy this fragrance and a little bit goes a long way but for me personally i love to overspray this fragrance because it really is a nice scent especially when you can get it all over your clothes and your hair and it just sticks to your skin very nicely so yeah this is a very nice scent this is definitely repurchase for me because this is fire you guys fire if you have not tried it all please do because I'm almost certain you'll like it especially if you like the type of scents that I like and if you don't know if you like the type of scents that I like go ahead and check out some of my other videos so you can you know see my taste or whatever but overall this is a very beautiful scent a very simple scent but it's so nice it's so pretty it's not doing too much at all so this is Idole from Lancome this next fragrance is one that I've spoken about countless times on my channel like to this day i love this fragrance I talk about it a lot it's one that i'm going to keep in my collection for life but this is a scent that's also polarizing either you love it or you hate it and for me i'm definitely a lover this is definitely a grown woman fruity floral in my opinion and this is donna born in roma from the house of valentino this is a 50 ml bottle as you guys know i already repurchased a 100 ml i went through this i think at the end of last year and i bought a new bottle right away actually before i even ran out of this i had already bought that 100 ml but this fragrance is so beautiful i literally have nothing left this is like completely empty but it's so cute i don't know what to do with these bottles i i just don't know but i want to repurpose it and do something with it but anyways <laughs> this fragrance is a nice sweet fruity floral it's a grown woman fruity floral it has this woody touch it has this warm very captivating vibe to it you also get this freshness that's in the opening but as the scent dries down it becomes sexier and more sensual which i absolutely love so this fragrance is one that i would say is perfect for date night it's perfect for fall winter if you'd like to wear this in the daytime but anytime you're around you can wear this scent i don't think that it'll be too much but i do prefer to wear this fragrance in the spring and summer at night because you know it has that depth to it that can really hold its own but the fruitiness and the floral aspect really allows this fragrance to still be feminine while also having that sexier touch as well so absolutely love this fragrance and when this fragrance opens up you get some bergamot and you also get some black currant which adds to that very sexy fruitiness that you get and then as the scent dries down you get some jasmine tea and some jasmine notes and i love jasmine and fragrances i think that it's a fragrance note that really captures the essence of femininity i love jasmine fragrances but i don't like when they are too white floral heavy like too indolic i don't like it at all but i do like a nice you know feminine jasmine scent and then as the scent dries down in the base you get some vanilla bourbon you also get some guyac wood which i think is so sexy in this fragrance and you get some cashmere in. this fragrance is beautiful i absolutely love it i think that if you enjoy you know smelling like a grown woman smelling like you know you really you got something going for yourself that's what this scent is if you're tired of the same old date night fragrances i think that this is a very nice option especially if you are in your 20s your 30s even your 40s i think that this is a very nice sexy fragrance for us so this is born in roma from valentino next we have one that i haven't spoken about in a while i actually don't know if i will repurchase this fragrance i really did enjoy it while i had it but i haven't really missed it which is crazy and this is Lancome's La Nuit Tresor a la Foley. I really did enjoy this fragrance when I wore it and it's one that I when I smell it I'm like okay yeah I know why I loved it. My sister complimented me on this fragrance. I got a lot of compliments with this scent but I haven't really been craving it lately and it might be because I haven't smelt it in a while so I kind of maybe forgot about it but now that I smell it I do kind of miss it. <laughs> It does have this very nice sex appeal to it, which I love. It's perfect for those fall and winter days, especially if it's more of a milder day. Even if it's super cold, this is nice, but I like it on those milder days. This fragrance is a nice, sweet, rosy scent. It also has this nice woody touch to it. I love how it has this kind of doughy quality. It kind of comes off a little bit gourmand. And this fragrance overall, I think it would be nice for those who enjoy very sweet scents, who like very warm scents, very cozy 
rosy scents. That's what this is for me. In this fragrance, you get some rose, you get some vanilla, you get some woody notes. You also get some patchouli and some musk. So overall, this fragrance is absolutely beautiful. It's not doing too much. This is also a compliment getter. This is the type of fragrance that I will wear on date night or something like that just because it's so inoffensive. It's so nice. It's very easy to wear. You can dress this up or down so you don't have to be super dressed up, but you don't have to be like bummy either. It's also very comforting, like I said earlier. So I really enjoyed wearing this fragrance to bed or just a lounge around the house, just watching movies and stuff like that. I will say that, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about repurchasing it, but once we get into the colder weather, I might pick this up again because I have gotten a lot of compliments from this fragrance and this is a very very nice scent so this is la noe trezor a la foley from the house of lancome again and last but certainly not least we have my little travel size of a fragrance and this is delina from parfums de marley of course you guys know i love my big bottle but i really enjoyed having these uh travel sizes because when i went to vegas i brought this with me along with my big bottle of delina exclusive and it really worked perfectly because i was able to layer them i was able to wear delina during the day and delina exclusive during the night so I really like these 10 mil travel sprays and if you are interested in Parfums de Marly I definitely recommend getting their set like their discovery set with the 10 mil travels because you can really get your money's worth and actually try the fragrances out before you purchase that full $300 bottle or whatnot but I really enjoyed my time with this and I am gonna repurchase my travel sprays because I have been traveling a lot lately and it's kind of been a hassle to travel with my full bottles so that's kind of something that I've learned over over the last few months with traveling with more expensive perfumes and instead of me being like concerned and worried and paranoid I think just getting the travel sprays will be nice so of course you guys if you know me you already heard about Delina if you've been on the internet for any length of time you've probably seen Delina around but this fragrance is a nice fruity floral it has this very tart opening very sharp bright opening this is also a nice fresh scent you get a little bit of woodiness in the fragrance you get a little bit of smokiness as well I really 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 enjoy this fragrance even though I do prefer Delina exclusive I really love Delina as well of course you guys see I went through 10 mil right here but it's a very nice fragrance it's very feminine it's very strong willed but it's not doing too too much it is a little bit you know off-putting in the opening if you're not used to that sour like sharp rhubarb note but once you get through that that rose that comes through the woodiness the vanilla all of that is just stunning so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the Delina because you guys I have gone through all of this I actually have a full dedicated review on Parfums de Marly feminine fragrances like the whole collection and I'll leave that video up in the eye in the sky if you guys want to check that out so that's all I have for you guys I hope you enjoyed today's video I know it was pretty quick like pretty short I know my videos are typically longer than this but I wanted to just get this video out to you guys with my empties once I get through some more fragrances I'll do another empties video with my fragrances because I know a lot of you guys are interested in what fragrances we as content creators actually go through and these have been the four that I've gone through at the end of 2021 early 2022 so if you are new to my channel I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot and for today's video I want you guys to leave me the trash can emoji because these are empty they have to go on the trash hopefully you'll see some of these sooner or later <laughs> so leave me the trash can emoji so that I know you guys made it into the end and again I hope you all enjoyed today's video please let me know some of the fragrances that you guys have gone through and I love you guys so 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 much and I will see you all in the next one mm -hmm.